Good Monday morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me once again for morning prayer and devotion. We're starting a brand new week, and I pray that uh, God's blessings will be upon you throughout this week. And uh, I look forward to celebrating with you the things that God has done uh, in the recent past. If you'll submit your praise reports, things that you've been praying about, that this team has been praying about together, that would be an encouragement to others who are watching and praying together, and uh, we will continue to believe God for those things that we have not yet received an answer for. I thank you for your prayers uh, for me while I've been away for traveling mercies, and and uh, I so much appreciate uh, knowing that I'm in your daily prayers and you are in my prayers as well. I want to read to you just one verse of scripture this morning for our devotion, Isaiah 21 6. It says, For thus saith or for thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he seeth. A witness is someone who sees something and reports what they saw. In our society, we have satellites, security cameras, listening devices, and cell phones with video recorders. And seemingly everywhere we go, there is some form of technology that's recording everything that happens, and yet uh, there is still the need for uh, those who see something to say something. I know you've heard that phrase before. In Isaiah's day, uh, that was the only um, the only resource they had was the watchman. They did not have all this technology, but they needed someone that would see something and sound the alarm. The watchmen were typically positioned on the borders of a country. Sometimes they were stationed in a watchtower. Sometimes there were watchmen stationed next to the king to give an account of what was happening in the kingdom. Today, God is raising up the next generation of watchmen over his kingdom. We are called to be the watchmen on the borders of our campuses, workplaces, homes, and communities. We are called not only to give an account of what God has done for us, but also to warn and alert others of impending danger. This world is in trouble. And as watchmen, our task is to inform, protect, and preserve. Our prayers are protecting someone today. Our prayers are sounding an alarm for someone today spiritually. Our prayers are standing in the gap for someone uh, of the danger that is over the horizon and we have to look out for the spiritual welfare of others. That is part of our job description as intercessors, as prayer warriors. So we must continue to accept this call. And if you're someone watching for the first time today, I would pray that you would accept the call to declare what you have seen, to stay in tune to the voice of the Spirit and looking for the signs that are all around us to be able to warn others, to witness to them. Amen. Yes, this world is in trouble, but there is a coming of Christ. The second coming is just over the horizon, and we're looking for that. We're looking for the blessed hope that we have in him. Let's sound the alarm. Let's be a witness. Let's let everyone know not only of the things they need to uh, be aware of that are going on in this world, but what we see coming quickly, the Lord appearing in his glory and we're going to be celebrating uh, that victory very soon, that event very soon, I do believe. Amen. Let's pray together today. Let's take these needs that you're posting now uh, to the Lord in prayer today. Make sure you do share those praise reports and prayer requests with the team. And I will be looking at those as well when I get a chance throughout the day. Lord, I pray today that you would help each one of us to heed your call to be a witness Lord, to take inventory of our lives and to ready ourselves for the task at hand. We have a great responsibility. Help us, Lord, to inform, to protect, to preserve those around us by being watchmen for their souls. Oh, God, use us today, Lord. Let us be alert spiritually. Let nothing get past our attention today, God. Even as you are constantly uh, looking throughout the earth, seeking those that you can bless and, and to do good for and to work in their lives. Let us be seeking out opportunity today, Lord, to do your will. 
and to uh, publish uh, the news of your soon coming. I pray today, God, that you would move in every need and every situation as we step out into this new week. Uh, we come off of our Sunday services, uh, so many coming off of those services refreshed and renewed and challenged. I pray that we would not lose our fervor, that we would not lose our desire, and that we would not lose our focus. Uh, use us this week, God, as your vessels to do your will. We will give you praise for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, stretch forth your hand today to minister healing to those who are sick. Lord, comfort to those, uh, Lord, who are who are brokenhearted. Uh, hallelujah. Strength to those who are weary today. In the name of Jesus, touch the minds of those who are tormented right now and deliver them, we pray. Oh, God, we believe for complete wholeness today. Those who are recovering from recent traumatic experiences. We pray, God, that they would continue to recover until they are completely whole. We pray this prayer of faith today, God, believing, Lord, that you're stepping in right now into every chaotic situation, and you're taking charge right now. You're taking over, and everything is having to fall uh, at your feet right now. You are victorious over all, and we stand in the victory that you have uh, have won for us uh, and we give you the praise and the glory for it all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for praying with me this Monday morning. Let's be right back here tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Share the videos. Invite someone to be a part of our prayer team. Let's allow this thing to continue to grow and our dedication not to waver in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here at 7.30 a.m.